Bro, if this game ever went down, dog, it would never happen, bro. But if this game ever went down, dog, it would get more views in the NBA Finals, bro. <laughs> WNBA don't get paid shit. So it's like a double whammy. Y'all will get y'all's bread for this bet. And then the amount of views, attention, and game would get, it would break records. But, uh... Uh, Clay Travis, dog. He's a, uh, sports journalist. He don't bought the outkick and shit, right? He made this post on Twitter talking about, I put a million dollars on the line. That yo WNBA champions against a 2024 high school boys state champion team of my choice. WNBA wins, y'all get my bread. Y'all get a million bucks. But if my team wins, y'all gotta donate a million bucks to that boys team. Hey, it's been a few months now. It's been crickets. <laughs> Matter of fact, the only response from the WNBA up until this point was a, a, a reply to that Twitter post. And it, it was from Chelsea Gray, who plays for the Las Vegas Aces, WNBA. All she had to say was, dumbass. Come on, what are we talking about, bro? What are we talking about, dog? <laughs> Like, the big picture to me, bro, is like, we, it's Snowflake City, bro. Society's so fucked up. Just to utter the the reality of, of life is that if the WNBA champions went against a 2024 high school state championship, they would get smoked. They would get smoked, bro. I mean, skill set aside, bro, just the basic physicality of these boys, these big ass boys coming against these little ass women, bro, they're gonna get they're gonna get demolished, bro. It's just <laughs> but we can't say that though. We can't say that though because you know, equality, men are women, women are men, what is a woman, all this shit. This it's all comes from the same place. And here we are, yet again, the only response from a, a perfect opportunity for the w, WNBA to get a bag, the perfect opportunity for these women to get a bag and they refuse to acknowledge reality because they know they gonna get fucking smoked. They know it. Oh, here you go. WNBA and Las Vegas Aces refuse to respond to my million dollar challenge if the Aces can beat a boys high school state champion team. This would be the most watched WNBA game of all time. All facts. And the boys would win which is why they aren't responding. Yeah, check me. Uh, what, do you, what do you say here? So earlier this week, a clip of me from back in February uh, started to go viral. Somebody, uh, give him credit, uh, runs a basketball site, like found me saying what is indisputably true in my always humble opinion. A good boys high school state champion team would smoke, in my opinion, off the floor, the WNBA champion. At this time, I didn't even know who the WNBA champion was. I probably wouldn't have known who the WNBA champion was anyway. But it was in February, uh, and I was talking about how ESPN is doing everything they can to make it seem like people care about the WNBA, when the reality is, after 25 years, nobody cares about the WNBA. It's a um, sad reality, so, bro, look, but that's facts. One of the reasons is because uh, the, the women would get smoked by a good high school boys team. So that gets clipped. Starts to go viral, um, and evidently one of the Las Vegas Aces, I don't know who she is, I don't know what her background is, but her name is Chelsea Gray. She shared this clip from the Hoop Herald, and she called me a dumbass. Uh, and so I didn't even know that this had happened until I uh, saw it on a Google News alert, uh, because I can't keep up with everything everybody says on a day-to-day -day basis. But Chelsea Gray called me a dumbass. She's on the Las Vegas Aces, which is the WNBA champion. So I responded, and to my knowledge, Chelsea Gray has not responded, nor has the WNBA, nor has the Las Vegas Aces. But my challenge is clear. We're going to clip this, and we will put it out there. Here's what I tweeted. I'll put a million dollars on the line. Your WNBA champion team, that's the Las Vegas Aces, against a 2024 high school boys state champion team of my choice. You guys win. You get a million dollars of my money. That is a million dollars that I will put out there. I will give it directly to all the members of the Las Vegas Aces. You potentially would make more money from this one game against the boys' high school. And you would make all season. Than you do for virtually the entire season playing <laughs> in the WNBA. You claim that you're wildly underpaid. A million dollars on the table of my money. But if you lose, you give me a million dollars. I then will not keep that money because I'm fortunate to have a hundred million dollars already. Instead, Damn. I will give that money 
to the high school boys team that beat you, that I believe would beat you, as incentive to the boys team to go out and play. So all of those high school boys state champions would get, you know, nearly 100 k each. That offer is out there. You called me a dumbass. You're a member of the WNBA championship team. I'm putting my money exactly where my mouth is. Facts. You can agree or disagree with me on all sorts of issues under the sun. I put my money where my mouth is. What reason would they have not to do it? Outside of them knowing that they're going to get beat. They're going to get smoked. This is the perfect storm. It's the perfect opportunity. The perfect situation for y'all to goddamn prove that, you know what I'm saying, y'all do this. That y'all does this. But y'all ain't about to do that. Y'all ain't about to do that, bruh. Damn. They ain't got to come up with the money, bruh. Clavis, uh, Clay Travis posted that uh, gambling company Bet Online has offered $1 million to the WNBA's Las Vegas Aces if they can beat a high school boy state champion of my choosing. The WNBA team now no longer has to put up the $1 million. They just have to win, and they get a million. You ain't got to put up the money, bruh. <laughs> Women's Hoops posted laughing my ass off at clay travis you're gonna set those boys up to go home crying and ready to quit basketball this is so rooted in sexism with the idea that women are less than men these women practice against fully physical developed grown men all their careers where's your brain what's the point of making that post just let them play just do it first of all Reality is sexist. It's just a fact of life. Sexism is not always a bad term. It's just identifying the differences between men and women. And here, the sole difference or the main difference is the biological difference between men and women. We're not the fucking same. Men are built better for basketball than women are. More stronger, taller, more explosive, jump higher, quicker, all that shit, bro. I guess the best thing the women can hope for is just like, just hope, hopefully they fucking shots fall from like 30 and 40. Right, but they're gonna have like these long ass defenders on them. Like, how the fuck they gonna be able to get around? And then setting picks and, and bruh, can you what? Anyway, you you make that post and instead of taking the opportunity to make a bag and then really put up a shut up. But y'all not trying to y'all not trying to y'all not trying to do that. Boys, high school coaches are blowing me up, wanting their team to be the one I pick to play the WNBA champs in the million dollar challenge. That would never happen, bruh. Well, I guess Pat Bev has some shit to say about this too. Hold on, let's uh, and see. let me make let's see what he's talking about. Evidently, Patrick Beverly went on his podcast and they told him about my million dollar wager. And Patrick Beverly, and I'm reading from Overtime Heroics. I haven't actually listened to this. He said, Clay Travis has to be on drugs. Uh, I don't give a f what he say. I'm reading their transcription. They are way more physical than man. I was chasing aerial powers, evidently. Yeah, he just sound like a yeah. That's a, he a male feminist, bro. He out here just trying to look good for the women, bro. That makes no sense. Women are more physical than men. At least she's a WNBA player. Through screens and they hit you more. They screen hard. They hold their screens. It's a physical game, bro. It's crazy. These WNBA girls are skilled. The logic behind that is flawed as shit because you are you're, you're saying that the women would do better in areas that require physicality against the men, right? So these women that are shorter, smaller, weaker, not as quick, not as fast are going to set screens and to hold screens against these boys that are going to be damn near 50 60 pounds heavier than them, a whole foot taller than them, can get the spots quicker than them, they're going to be more physical? That shit don't make no damn sense, bro. You a pro basketball player, the only reason why you're saying that shit is because he's just trying to be on this feminist wave, and you sound like an idiot, bro. Like, it would make more sense to say, you know what I'm saying, maybe they could, you know, handle the ball better, which they can't. Um, or, you know, maybe they shots going to fall, you know what I mean? Or, you know, they're better at, like, running plays and shit, or, like, they mentality is 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 superior because they've been doing it longer like things like that would make more sense in that argument but to say that they're more physical oh there's another poll here it says do you think the number one high school boys basketball team in the country mont verde in florida would beat the wnba vegas aces the tallest player on the aces is six four only two players on mount is under six four 
might drop at that point, bro. Hold on, just for, let's, for shits and giggles, let's 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 see, let's see who's on these rosters, bro. To see just how much of a demolition it would be. Okay, I got the roster here for the Aces. Uh, so it looks like the biggest player on the team is center at 6'4", 195. It's the biggest, tallest player on the whole girls team. You got another one here? No, 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 I'm sorry. They have another one. She's 6'4", 225. 6'4", 225. Bitch, I'm, I'm, I'm six foot sitting around like 220 right now. Uh, but 6'4", 225. Another 6'4", 192. 6'4", 184. 6'4", 195. Everybody else is 176, 167, 140, 170, 145, 165, bro. What do you say? Mount Verde? Let's look, let's, let's look at y'all's roster. The varsity basketball, Mount Verde Academy basketball roster. Oh, they ain't got their weights on here, man. But <laughs> So you got three players on the 6'4", and they all guards. <laughs> and two of the guards are 6'3", just one inch shorter than y'all's biggest players on y'all on the girls team bro but after that six seven six eight six ten six four six 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 ten six eight and six nine what the hell is the damn girls team gonna do with that what the fuck they gonna do with that bro <laughs> like oh yeah it, it, it would require no skill like whatever skill that the girls would have would be washed out because literally all you need is a fucking some guards to pass that bitch into the paint and they gonna dunk on these women all goddamn day bro this is this is the basketball team that's talking about mount verde Yeah, I've seen enough. I, don't, I mean, there's nothing even to look at, bro. I, I'd rather look at the Aces see how they fucking play. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Let me see. I, I'm, at least I'm being fair, trying to do a little bit of research to give them some type of of, of, of fighting chance. Even y'all, But y'all don't even have a puncher's chance, bro. There's no, there's no way. It was, it's physically impossible that these girls will be able to beat those boys. Meanwhile, New York, we're going to force a game five Friday night in Vegas. Game four is underway. We would have won the tip. <laughs> Boys would have won the tip. Good start for Vegas here in game four. Laney in the corner. Connects. Yeah, they would hope they would they would have to hope all those Asia shots. Wilson fall. generally has the big player John Quill Jones guarding her. Makes it a e little easier to get it over half court. And creates some space as Young knocks down the corner three. 9-5 lead for Vegas. Yonescu back iron no. Vandersloot the rebound. Another chance for New York in the corner. Laney gives it up. Block. Andersloot knocks it down. Here's Plum. Off to George. Cutting is Wilson. Lost it. Fifth turnover for Las Vegas. Vandersloot with yeah, some space. This is to look at. They have to come up with a whole little mercy rule, bro. It'd be, it'd be, it would, it would be a uh, demolition. I'm talking about not one fucking rebound. Stolen from all the goddamn time, all they shots blocked, dunked on all the goddamn time. You probably y'all probably wouldn't even be able to fucking inbound the ball, bro. We talking about y'all y'all's biggest players are only six fold, two hundred. Who gonna be fucking sitting under the paint? Y'all's little y'all's more athletic girls are gonna be what like how, how tall were they? Guards five eleven, five eight, five seven, six foot like. <laughs> Bro, yeah, I'm trying to get down on that bet too, bro. What's up? 